in a picturesque village nestled amid the slushy mountains, a serene temple stood tall, a sanctuary of wisdom and tranquility. Within its walls lived the venerable Master Koji, a sage renowned for his profound understanding of life's mysteries. The villagers held him in the highest regard, seeking his guidance in times of joy and sorrow. Among those who sought Master Koji's wisdom was a troubled young woman named Mei. Her heart was entangled in knots of uncertainty about her future, and she couldn't find the peace she desperately sought within herself. With trepidation and hope, Mei embarked on a journey to the temple, guided by tales of the wise master's counsel. Upon arriving at the temple, Mei's eyes met the gentle smile of Master Koji, who welcomed her with open arms. She poured out her worries, her restless heart laid bare before him. Master, she implored, I am burdened by my worries. How can I find true happiness? Master Koji listened attentively, his eyes filled with compassion. He led Mei to a tranquil garden adorned with vibrant cherry blossom trees. Under the shade of one of these majestic trees, he prepared a pot of fragrant tea. As he poured the tea into a teacup, Mei watched with intrigue, her mind curious about the purpose of this act. The tea soon filled the cup, and yet Master Koji didn't stop pouring. The tea overflowed, spilling onto the ground, creating a small pool around the cup. Mei, bewildered by this display, questioned the master, Master, the cup is already full. Why are you pouring more tea? It's just being wasted. Master Koji smiled, his eyes twinkling with wisdom. Dear Mei, this teacup represents your mind. It is filled with worries and anxieties, and you seek answers without making space for them. Just as the cup cannot hold more tea without emptying some, you must create space within yourself to find true happiness. The metaphor began to sink in, and Mei nodded thoughtfully. But how do I empty my mind? she inquired, her voice tinged with uncertainty. My worries seem overwhelming. Master Koji gestured towards a nearby stream, its gentle currents gliding gracefully over the smooth stones. Observe the water in the stream, he said. It flows effortlessly, never clinging to anything. It adapts to the twists and turns of the terrain. In the same way, you must learn to flow with life, accepting both joys and sorrows without clinging to them. May's eyes widened as she contemplated the profound truth in his words. She realized that her worries were born from her attachments and resistance to change. She had to let go and embrace the present moment, just like the stream embraced its journey. With newfound determination, May returned to the temple day after day. Under Master Koji's gentle guidance, she learned to release her worries, one by one, like petals falling from a blooming flower. As she let go of her burdens, her heart grew lighter, and a sense of peace enveloped her. Over time, May's visits to the temple became less frequent, as she found herself living in harmony with the ebb and flow of life. The wisdom imparted by Master Koji had transformed her perspective. She understood that happiness was not a distant destination but a journey woven with both joyous moments and challenges. The villagers noticed the radiant transformation in May. Her presence exuded tranquility, and she became a source of inspiration for others seeking solace and guidance. Whenever someone arrived at the temple seeking Master Koji's counsel, Mei would sit beside them, sharing the teachings that had touched her heart. Through her acts of kindness and compassion, Mei spread the wisdom she had gained from Master Koji. She became a beacon of hope, encouraging others to embrace the beauty of the present moment, just as the cherry blossoms bloomed and withered gracefully with the passing seasons. 
As years passed, the legend of Master Koji and Mei's profound wisdom echoed far beyond the village nestled amid the slushy mountains. Their story served as a timeless reminder that in the journey of life, to find true happiness and inner peace, one must learn to let go of worries, attachments, and resistance to change. Life, like the flowing stream, carries us through myriad experiences. By embracing each moment with open arms and a grateful heart, one can flow with life's currents, and amidst the inevitable twists and turns, discover the serenity and contentment that lie within. And so, the tale of Master Koji and Mei became a cherished parable, inspiring countless souls to find their own path to happiness and wisdom, one sip of tea at a time.